What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome to another top 10 best Cydia tweaks and apps video and obviously this is going to be for the iPad as we're on my iPad mini 2 right now um, but yeah all of the tweaks and apps that I show you guys are all from stock sources within Cydia so you're not going to have to add any sources and uh, also I'll leave all of the tweaks and apps listed down in the description in case you guys want to refer there after this video if you want to download and try out any of these tweaks or apps um, and before I get into this I am going to mention that the theme I am using on my iPad mini is Iris. Um, I really like this theme. I'll leave the exact name uh, down in the description as well. I think it's a really nice, you know, simple theme. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and let's jump into this. So first off, I do have an application for you guys. I really like this app. It is called Cleaner. Uh, it's this app right here. It's basically kind of like a, uh, a circuit board with two memory units on it. And if we go ahead and open it up, I really like the way that the UI is designed. I actually had it... Uh, it does crash on occasion depending on what settings you have. If you have it set up to do the deep clean, it can crash on occasion and it does take a while to go through with a clean. Uh, I'm not actually going to clean it out in this video just because um, the way I have it set up, I have it set up to do the deep clean and it, it takes it about a minute or so. Uh, so I don't want to, you know, just leave you guys sitting here watching it basically just clean out my device. But basically, yeah, what it does is it will uh, just get rid of, you know, useless cache and uh, processes that are basically just taking up your RAM memory. As you guys can see, my free memory right there uh, is 200, about 230 megabytes. Uh, and also it shows 87 processes running, which is a bit much if you ask me. I typically use this application to clean out my device. You know, if I'm using it pretty intensively someday, I'll, I'll clean up my device, you know, that day that I'm using it uh, prior to, you know, whatever I'm doing. Uh, and it does help out quite a bit. You know, it's not, you know, an essential app. It's just kind of like a nice thing to have on your device to know exactly what's going on with the memory on it. But again, uh, this application is called Cleaner and I would highly recommend it. The next tweak I have for you guys is called Spectral. Now what this tweak does, if we can go ahead and jump into our music application, we can go ahead and get a song playing. We can go ahead and jump to my lock screen. What Spectral does is basically it blows up uh, the album artwork to be your wallpaper and then adds a really nice blur effect to it uh, so that basically, you know, the background of your lock screen matches the album artwork of whatever song you might have playing. And I really do like this tweak. I do have this on my iPhone as well. Uh, it just makes it, you know, match really nicely. And instead of it being uh, whatever, you know, normal wallpaper you have blurred out, uh, like I said, it just it all it all flows really good, and I think it looks really really nice. So again, that's called spectral. The next tweak I got for you guys is actually a tweak and a theme, and I had it just featured in my uh, top ten iPhone and iPod Touch tweaks video. It's Classic Doc, and then the theme is OSX Doc for Classic Doc. So basically, the way this works is you download Classic Doc, and it'll basically make your doc look like the doc from iOS six, and then you add the theme. OSX doc and you enable it within Winterboard and as you can see it's basically the dock from Mac and I really like the way it looks and it also does give you the ability to have you know little running indicators for uh, showing the applications that are multitasking in the background which is a pretty cool you know addition I honestly like this dock a bit better on my iPad than I do on my iPhone just because you know I think it looks better being bigger at least in landscape it, it looks really good but uh, pretty straightforward on that again uh, this is combined as one tweak. Uh, it, it is a tweak and a theme, but it is Classic Doc and also OSX Doc for Classic Doc. Next, we have another must have on any jailbroken iPad, and that's CC Toggles. So, if we go ahead and open up our control center, basically what CC Toggles does is it allows you to add uh, new toggles. As you guys can see, I actually have a respring button right there. If I were to tap it again, it would actually respring my device. And if we swipe over, I do have um, reboot and power off. And then, you know, there's a few others to choose within settings and you can, you know, change the arrangement of those toggles as well just by sliding them up or down, whether you want Wi-Fi in front of airplane mode or whatever it is you want, you can change that. And also, I do like how you can add your own quick launches. As you guys can see, I have a quick launch for Twitch, Spotify, Twitter, and also uh, Mailbox right there. And if I swipe over on that, as you guys can see, I do have access uh, to my clock calculator and a camera right there so those are still there as well and you can rearrange that and add as many quick launches as you want which is really cool again that's called CC toggles the next week I got for you guys I really really like on the iPad now uh, there is no OXO 2 for the iPad yet and my favorite kind of multitasking uh, for the iPad here is called classic switcher so if we go ahead and we open up our multitasking 
as you guys can see it's just like the classic switcher found in iOS 6 uh, but there's a, a few added features with uh, this tweak first off you can add there you can add more rows if you want so if you wanted like two rows it'd be you know the height of two apps or you can add three rows or as many as apps there are running so if you had every single app on your device running it would literally show it like an entire grid of the whole page also you do have the option to blur out the background which I really do like uh, but that's not really you know uh, what I really like this tweak about uh, so first off if we swipe to the right on classic doc as you can see there's that little icon if I let go right now it will end all of my uh, apps from multitasking which is a really cool feature you can also turn on in the settings to have always edit on so that when you open up your switcher they're always in edit mode and you can just end you know uh, single apps from multitasking a uh, very very simple tweak but there's quite a bit of functionality with it and I do like it better than the card switcher that's native with iOS 7 again that's called classic switcher now we do have another tweak here which was featured in my most recent top 10 iPhone and iPod touch tweaks video uh, but I felt it's also really good on the iPad and that's why I wanted to include it and it's called status HUD 2 now one thing that really annoys me with iOS 7 and even on iOS 6 when it would do this is when you turn your volume up or down is you get that really annoying HUD in the middle of your screen blocking whatever you're doing uh, which is really really uh, annoying so if we go ahead and we turn the volume up here as you guys can see up in the status bar is now where that kind of volume rocker is as you guys see it go up and then if I turn it down here so there you go it basically just uh, changes that HUD to be up in the status bar which in my opinion is you know totally unobtrusive it doesn't get in your way uh, it looks good it works perfectly fine it just shows you what level your volumes at which is all you really need it to do and I just like the tweak it's very simple a no-brainer tweak again that's called status HUD 2 the next week I got for you guys is also a tweak you can have on your iPhone or iPod touch I just prefer it to be on the iPad because I think it looks better but if we go back to our lock screen go ahead and wake it up here uh, as you guys can see I do have the matrix kind of rain coming down uh, and this is called rain lock and I really like the way that this looks as well but like I said mainly on the iPad um, just because of the larger you know display I just think it looks really really good and um, it also allows you to adjust quite a few things here if I can stop it from dimming away um, you can uh, you know change the text you can change the color uh, I, ch I have it as the first initial you know symbols to be white and then the trail is black you can change those colors to whatever you want it to be you can like I said have your own custom text you can change the amount it rains how you know fast or slow it is a uh, really cool tweak again that's called rain lock next up we have another must-have and it is cylinder this is the barrel killer had it featured in the last iPhone and iPod touch top 10 tweak video but it's still awesome on the iPad and that's why I wanted it here as well and I do have the same animation setup as I do on my iPhone just because I like you know, I, I like keep, keeping it a bit uniform when I'm switching between my iPhone and my iPad. So, uh, basically, all cylinder is is uh, animated page scrolling effects. Now, this is like ten times better than Barrel, if you ask me. So, first off, it's free, which is uh, you know one of the biggest uh, the biggest features of it. But it also comes with just way more animations than Barrel. Let's go ahead and let's jump into the settings application here, and we're gonna go into cylinder, which is right here. Uh, so first off, you do have your on-off switch right there, which I love. I love tweaks that do that. Uh, and then we have our effects. Like I said, there's 45 different animations in which you can choose from. But the cool thing about Cylinder is you can actually combine different effects to come up with your own effect, which is pretty awesome. So as you guys can see, the first effect I have is Stay Put. The second is Spin. And then the third is Page Fade. So all those three effects do work together. And you can actually save your different effects, whatever combinations you come up with, and rename them to be like pretty much your own custom animation, which is really, really cool. That's why I like uh, this tweak so much. And plus, it's just awesome having page, you know, uh, animated page scrolling effects on your device. I think it just really makes it stand out from other iOS devices. Uh, but anyways, that is called Cylinder. So if you guys are into gaming, the next tweak I got for you guys is an absolute must-have. So it's called Controllers for All. Now if we jump into the settings here, uh, as you can see, it's very simple in the settings for controllers for off. So first off, you have uh, your enable on off switch. You have suppress notifications and also controller type. So if we click on that, as you can see, this does support the PS3 controller, the PS4 controller, the Wii U Pro controller, and then the iPega 9025. I've never even seen one of those. I'm not sure what that is. But the awesome part is PS4 and PS3. Uh, so what this tweak allows you to do is connect like I said or like it says your PS4 controller 
or your PS3 controller to your device via Bluetooth, and then you can play controller-enabled games. And I'll show you just a, a folder here of a, of a couple of the games uh, that I have on my device that do support the controller, which is just absolutely ridiculously fun, Ex especially Grand Theft Auto. Playing Grand Theft Auto on your iPad with a controller is just something else. It's pretty crazy. Also, uh, Call of Duty Strike Team, playing a first-person shooter with a controller on your iPad is pretty epic. Uh, Dead Trigger 2 is also a first-person shooter, and uh, it, it's pretty it's pretty awesome. You got, you know, uh, Asphalt there. That's fun to play as well. I'll actually leave a link down in the description of me demonstrating these games with controllers for all, just because I'm not demoing it in this video. But like I said, if you're a gamer, uh, this tweak is a must-have, allowing you to connect uh, those various different controllers to your device via Bluetooth and being able to play controller-supported games from the App Store. Again, that's called Controllers for All. And the last tweak I got for you guys is another lock screen tweak, and I really like it on the iPad. I was actually surprised they updated it for the iPad because I never had it previously because this tweak has been out for a while, and it is Android Lock XT. And this goal is really good on the iPad because, I don't know, I just it feels more natural to just kind of swipe a pattern to get into your device instead of clicking on a code. So as you can see, that's just my pattern right there. And obviously within the settings in Android Lock XT, if we can go to it real quick, I'm not gonna go through all the settings because there's actually a lot of different things you can do with this tweak. Uh, first off, obviously you can change the pattern. You can select the theme. There's a bunch of different themes. Uh, you can change the appearance. You can change the behavior. And, and you also do have logging right there. Uh, but like I said, it's just, I don't know, it's just a really natural tweak to have on your iPad. I think it just, it, it just works really good. Uh, like I said, being able to just draw your passcode, it just, it feels more natural than reaching all the way to the middle of the screen and, you know, pressing buttons when you can just kind of swipe right into it. Very natural feeling. I do like it a lot. Again, that's called Android Lock XT. So there you have it, guys. Those are 10 really awesome Cydia tweaks and apps for the iPad here. Uh, like I said, I'll leave all of the tweaks and apps listed down in the description in case you guys forgot any of the names of them. Also, like I said, the theme is listed down there as well. And I'll also link, um, if you guys are in the market, to actually get a PS3 or PS4 controller uh, to play specifically on your iPad, even if you don't have a PlayStation. I'll leave a couple of Amazon links in the description as well. They're actually really cheap on Amazon right now. At least the, the PS3 controllers are really cheap. The PS4 is still... Uh, you know, it pretty much their normal price just because the PS4 is fairly new. But the PS3 controllers, like I said, are pretty cheap right now. Uh, and it's it's kind of like a really, you know, easy supplement for kind of turning your device into a console in its own way. And it's definitely very fun. So Amazon links are down there. Uh, also, the name of the theme I'm using and all of the tweaks and apps featured within this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this top 10 list. If you did, definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. I will be tweeting out my wallpapers that were featured in this video as I do all my top 10 videos. So definitely be following me on Twitter. But anyways, guys, this has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.